Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is TrophyNet, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I kind of forgot to open up the uh, weapons box we got in the previous episode for uh, becoming a trush in the Hunter's Lodge. And I opened that in between, and there's actually a pretty cool weapon in there. So I'm going to show you that uh, right now. Because if we go to inventory and then to weapons, we can actually see the Tear Blaster, the blast of compressed air from this close range weapon strip armor and components from machines without the need to aim precisely, leaving them more vulnerable to follow-up attacks. So this is a, a sort of Tear Blast shotgun. So on, in close range, you can actually blow off uh, a part, uh, com components from machines, which is really, really cool. Um, but I haven't really tried it out yet. I'm not gonna equip it right now as well. Because I have a pretty nice setup at the moment. Uh, and I don't really feel like that should uh, should replace my current stuff. But today, we're going to actually do the uh, continuation of the main quest. So we're going to do the Deep Secrets of the Earth quest. And uh, for that, we need to go to Sunfall. We heard about Sunfall uh, a few times already. Mostly because there are, uh, I think, a lot of poor people are living there. And that Robin Hood kind of character try to uh, raise money to get more stuff, well, food and etc. to the people in Sunfall. So yeah, we're gonna see how that works out for us. I'm gonna head over there and I guess I'll see you guys uh, when something happens. Okay, I'm overriding a trampler at the moment and there's some really, really weird machine very close by. So I'm just gonna do this because over there, that was Rock Breaker, and I think he just... Did he just... Holy sh... What the hell is happening? Because there is... Something else here as well. I saw Rock Breaker over there. Oh, shit. They're kind of attacking each other at the moment, since I over... I've overridden the, uh... Wait the how? Trampler. That was an attack I never seen before. Ow! Didn't really expect them to attack me there. Hello. There we go, that's one trampler down. There's a lot where that came from. What the hell? Holy shit balls. Okay. Not a freaking glint hawk. There's something happening over there. That's that rock breaker thingy. What the hell is going on? What is that? Okay, now I really want to check this out. A rock breaker. There seem to be two of them. Weakness force, okay.
Oh, these things just burrow down, don't they? These things are huge! Jesus! I thought I'm s I saw all machines already, but these things are completely different. Oh, I killed him. Okay. Pull, 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 or not. Jesus Christ. There's still one over there. Did I actually take something? Because I feel like I missed a few things over there. Okay, there we go again. Oh shit. Thought he couldn't go that far. There we go, thank you very much. Okay, these things look awesome. And hilarious, by the way. Rock breaker. I thought I've, I've seen all the machines already because I actually got the trophy for killing each type of machine. Well, all the machines of each type already. So I don't know what exactly that was a dead fox. And then rock breaker. These guys look really, really cool. I didn't even know there were more machines, but apparently they are. So um, yeah, continuing on. Sunfall, the Mad King Drown Summer Palace, a bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, and this actually looks like a solid city Get over here. Soon enough. Which is uh, interesting in its own right. Okay, so we might actually find a merchant here then, I suppose. Which I can use to drop off a bit of loot, because I'm actually quite full on everything. Saw another quest here, might as well pick it up. So, uh, hello, sir or madam. I think it's a sir, a boss. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana, my sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's uh, difficult. His soul is in shadow. His soul is in shadow. What does that Believe. mean? That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Oh, it's his daughter. I didn't even see that before. Healer's Oath. Okay. That's sad. I'm gonna try and do something about that. But first, look at this lovely palace. Go to Sunfall Complete. Go to the Citadel Courtyard. Hello. Waiting to come home. Hello. And there's the merchant, so give me a second. This is useful. 
There we go. Sold uh, a lot of, uh, well, coils and uh, weaves as well. Because I don't really need all that. Okay. Cutscene. Oh. I'm supposing this is the ring of fire or the sun ring? The sun ring. That was it. They're fighting a behemoth. The sun ring. A proud tradition. Stay off my focus. If you catch Ketch's beer, you'll be lucky if you survive long enough to wind up in that ring. Okay. That's a strange warning. Let's just continue up the palace I here. See if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. What are you talking about? Okay. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. That was a second. That was weird. So... We should have probably crashed a network. Because otherwise the eclipse in the city would immediately recognize me. Hello. Be careful. So they're all shadow cars, yeah, And these guys don't seem to be hostile towards me. If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Filthy mercenary bottom feeders. I'll take the shards, even if it means having to listen to Bahavas. I hear the Shadow Cards are looking for one of their own. Should pay I'm well. I'm not sure I want to know what's making the machine so hard. Okay then, so a lot of bounty hunters looking for a job. More mercenaries? Which is not so weird, of course, but maybe... Maybe we can check this out as well. Okay, there we go again. Enjoy. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. It's a little kid. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak on my behalf. Oh, wow. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Oh, hello there. Mm. Love your hair. Thanks. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, little Huntress. The green tent king, down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. Bow chicka bow wow. So, we both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me then, while there's still time to save him. Interesting. The way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First Don't time in the Citadel, gotta here. see the sun ring so, high. Tolerate. Well, the Kestrels. I can either go down the Grand Balcony where the quest boy. starts, or check out impression. the the tent. I might as well do that as well. Traitor bounty. Uh, talk to Vanasha. Vanasha. I used to see you. Oh, that's pretty, pretty far away. Let's just go to the balcony. Let's just go to the balcony. Main quest. Go back down. Deep secrets of the dread. earth. It's a short drop from there. Oh. Okay. There we go. And then let's just walk. There we go, she's doing this automatically. Oh shit. There we go. And then let's go down. God damn it. She's not really built to going down, is she? Okay, this is not entirely safe. This is not entirely how you're supposed to do this, I think. Okay, now she's dropping down properly. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. No, go down. Go down, Aloy. Jesus Christ. The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. This I one. I you've been here before. Obviously. Now, 
It's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. <sighs> okay. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll oh. tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Huh. Interesting. Is there a safe point right next to this place then? Or not? Because there doesn't seem to be any. So you want me to climb back up there if I want to do something else, but... Okay, then I'm gonna... S I, I have a separate save file if I want to do something else, so let's just go inside. Here we go. Point of no return. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Yes, indeed, because oh, we're just gonna to be allowed in here, probably. Genetic this... profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. This makes me. Malfunction. Oh, no. Nope. Malfunction. Malfunction. Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary Stop access panicking. inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Yes. Emergency venting authorized. What did you just vent? Ah! I underestimated you. So by now I... Oh no. Yeah, that's gonna. That's gonna draw their attention. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Okay, can't we just close the door behind us? That would be nice. Explore the Project Zero Dawn facility. Well, that's a confirmation. I'm just gonna check out this area before here, because I don't want to miss anything. Because if this is the final facility, then the final power cell should be inside of this place as well. Welcome if to I Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Yes, it's the name Are of the game. Really so surprised. Facility diagnostic. Detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. There's something over here. Another incident. From lounge staff to administrator. This morning's unfortunate incident with Dr. Popovich is another example of reception's need for additional support. We appreciate that Zero Dawn is an immensely complicated project but as the staff who serve on the front line, we're tired of being neglected. As we have already requested, we need human translators fluent in Polish, for example, security staff who can subdue enraged embryologists, for example, and dermal sedatives to calm persons who are screaming in Polish while hurling chairs and vases at reception staff, for example. Yes, most of the candidates are reasonably calm and well behaved, but we need help handling the exceptions to that rule. Please respond most of the candidates candidates for what 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 is project zero dawn i'm hoping we're gonna find out in this facility because otherwise i don't know where to go anymore we need support too from reception staff and that's the other one uh that was missing we need support too reception staff continues to require additional support managing 
zero dawn candidates when they arrive at the facility. Many are frightened or confused, some are highly agitated. These are not the sort of persons who are accustomed to having information withheld from them. At minimum, we need human translator, translators, not the... Wait, the language bots are not sufficient, and mild sedatives for the extreme cases. Any and all support would be welcome, perhaps you could start by responding to one of these mails. Huh. So people were being brought here to serve as candidates for Project Zero Dawn, whatever that may be. And somehow these people Please helped... Take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Huh. So this is where the people started waiting. Sound... Soundproofing? Excuse me? Would it be possible to improve the soundproofing between VR1 and the lounge area? Most of the candidates stay quiet during the presentation, but the ones who scream or sob can be plainly heard by candidates waiting their turn in the lounge. Just a thought. Okay. Please this is not... Proceed into viewing room 1 for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. So viewing room 1. Just gonna check out the other rooms first. Or is this viewing room one? Restock or else? For the fifth time, please restock the lounge's selection of herbal teas. If I have to listen to one more egghead throw a tantrum, because we're out of the organic cucumber mint or blackberry sage var var varietals, I'm going to lose it. Please respond and this time no tempest in a teapot or steep demand jokes, okay? Okay, so coffee, uh, tea was important, again. That's a supply crate, thank you very much for all that. That's pretty much it. So the viewing room is probably over there. There is a room over here as well, but I don't think... Can I open this up? No. Okay, so then the only thing I can actually continue through is viewing room one. Hopefully, whatever happened to these candidates doesn't happen to us, because this doesn't look... This doesn't look healthy. What... What was this place? A holographic theater. cd one data intact. Initiating playback. Here we go again. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. That Zero Dawn is a top-secret super-weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is... That I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super-weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. 
The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Wow. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. I think I have a theory about that. I think... Because she needed candidates. And that's probably... She was amassing a life force just to keep a certain set of humans alive and probably animals too since we see animals still alive in uh, the world up above but so she gathered animals and humans in here and froze them and waited out the end of the world and then I don't know how far we are ahead now then in the future because it must have taken quite a lot of time for the world to come back from whatever the pharaoh robots did. Huh. But uh, let's keep pushing on because this gets more interesting by the second. Okay. Kestrels. They got in through the vents. Oh shit. Let nothing stopped you from learning the truth. Spread out. Oh if shit, moves, balls. Kill it. What is this place? Tomb? I thought nobody liked going into these ruins. Just gonna quickly bag everybody. Seems like there's only three of them. There we go. A leader guy and two normal guys. So if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to... There we go. Kill that guy. And then kill the back one. No? Where is he? Okay, he's in the next room over, apparently. Let's put three precision arrows on my... bow? Good. We're too close to the tribal prick to stop us now. The data points, what did they contain? Tribal primitives? Aren't you just as a, as much a tribal primitive as everybody here? That is a weird way to talk about these guys. Um, let's go check out these things. Interview with Tom Peich. That is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people. They feed off them? Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please. Tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Don't! Please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! So, people were obviously mad at Pharaoh for what he did. Obviously. Travis State, a data security consultant. Oof. So, Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and the lake of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. 
Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. Okay, so it wasn't all the creme de la creme of the human race, apparently, so I don't know. Formerly a farce, Brad Andak. You previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self replication routines? I came here thinking this was a rendition. When your people took me, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since. since, uh. Would you like to take a moment? No, no, no. I, I just. I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but that could really sell a concept. And, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the life of creation, that first test run. When, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. God, there were no limits. Okay. So that was one of the engineers at Faro Automated Solutions who kind of enjoyed what he did. But then, of course didn't take into account the consequences of what he did, but what is this? Ron Felder, Aerospace Engineering. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not gonna fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow, and you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is... is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. But you people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. Okay. So he suggested making a, a spaceship to get away from it all, but I don't think they went with that idea. Captain Okilo, Information Warfare Specialist. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, US Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? We still don't know. So, I do notice these kind of beds in the middle here with those grabby arms on top of it. I don't know what that is, but it looks really, really scary. Interview Suzanne Alpert, Environmental Reclamation. With Suzanne Alpert, Environmental Scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? 
Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging, slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. And show us, for Christ's sake! Okay then, there's one more text-based thingy, Counselor Guidelines. For the briefing after presentation, candidates must be allowed to ask questions and be given the necessary time to fully absorb the information they have received. It is important to be aware that candidates have just been exposed to triggers for severe mental and emotional trauma. Do not assume silence or outward calmness indicates acceptance. It is essential to stress that all of the options for combating the Pharaoh Plague and preserving the continuation of human life have been considered and found unworkable. Communicate this fact calmly but clearly and firmly. Familiarize yourself with data on the catastrophic environmental impact of nuclear engagements versus the swarm and the feasibility of maintaining life in orbital, lunar or undersea structures, so that you can counter candidates' objections in depth. If a candidate asks for time alone to review supplementary information, allow this without hesitation. Be sure to inform security personnel to the candidate so the candidate can be monitored for attempts at self-harm. Candidates should only be clear to proceed to presentation 2 if you believe their mental state is sufficiently stable. Note that real-time support will be available via your focus. Security and medical crisis teams are data corrupted. So there is a presentation room 2. Which means I could technically move forward. But I did see an opening over here. Could this be our final power cell? Hello? Where is this even going? Or was this just... Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm not leaving without this power cell. So this is a stealth option. This is closed, sadly. So that also just comes back into the room. So it just allowed me to be stealthy then, I suppose? Because that just ends over there, so... Don't know why this tunnel was even here. And it looks like they wanted to... further excavate this facility, but never... gotten around to it. Do I have... Same sort of tunnel on this side. I don't seem to have one. Just a closed door. So, okay. Let's continue on. I, my curiosity is keeping me... Uh, keeps me pushing forward. So, let's open this up. And... CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Here we go. That was a bit sober. 